So I keep swinging back and forth between having the uh, little modification I made to the Yoshi here attached to baffle it a little bit and uh, not having it there. I was running without that just with the um, spark arrestor in for a few months over the summer but I got a little tired of the noise it was getting a little a little irritating so put the baffle back on and all it is I did a video on this if you search back but uh, it's just a little um, drain uh, uh, screen there that you can get at a you know hardware store and then there's a little uh, dimpled screen behind that and then the spark arrestor so with the Yoshi the spark arrestor um, makes it louder because the Yoshi comes with a low volume baffle insert that's standard in the Yoshi so if you have a Yoshi it's got that in it and if you want to put the spark arrestor in you've got to remove that and uh, and then replace it with the spark arrestor and that makes it louder so that's why I did that that way I can be legal not start any forest fires and uh, not have it so loud so you can hear the sound there pretty acceptable I think it's very acceptable actually still sounds good but not too annoying yeah some people have uh, have commented to me that uh, well the Yoshi isn't that loud you know but um, I think they they forget or maybe they don't realize that it does come with that uh, baffle in it well it's the low volume insert eh? that's what Yoshi calls it it's a narrower pipe basically that uh, extends into the muffler gives it some resistance and uh, quietens it down so when you put the uh, spark arrestor in like I say it it opens it up because that's a wider diameter and there's just no restriction so it's quite loud the baffle does the job you know this little mod that I'm that I did and it doesn't affect the power it seems to me if anything maybe gives it a little more um, edge down low low to mid Never been up this uh, street before, but there was a detour, so here I am. Ooh, there's a nice view. So maybe you get an idea of how the exhaust sounds with the mod. I quite like it. Works for me. Man, it's a nice day. I think once I get home, my wife and I, we're gonna go for a hike. So I'm feeling pretty good lately. Actually, I'm feeling excellent, to be accurate. So I'm looking forward to lots of stuff. And uh, get a few things started, a few projects, some creative stuff. Got lots of opportunity to do that. I mean, got my studio. I can do some painting and airbrushing. And, and 
I got my garage and can do some welding. I enjoy being creative. It satisfies me deep down. Man, look at the color of those trees now, eh? The only problem with fall is you got to rake it all up. Yeah, they say that we're we have a nice stretch of uh, clear, dry, sunny weather ahead of us. And I'll take it. Ooh, see that chopper there? That looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Get lots of uh, stuff in before the winter comes. And then maybe this year I'll get out more in the winter than I did last year. Well, I couldn't last year, taking care of my wife. But uh, this year, I think maybe I can. Get some snowshoes or something, I don't know. I used to cross country ski a lot, but uh, I don't anymore. But if you can figure something to do in the winter that uh, turns you on, it, uh, it sure is good, then you make use of all the seasons that, instead of hibernating in the winter. Maybe we'll get a good uh, close-up view of that chopper. Oh, yeah. Some pretty fancy paintwork on that one, eh? Yeah, that's, uh, that's some work there. Very nice. Still got to get my my Suzuki on the um, on the road. I got to finish that build. So, guess what? That's all I got. So thanks for tuning in and joining me. And uh, you take care. You ride safe and have fun. I'll catch you on another one.